Hello, my name is Jim German, and welcome to today's episode of Dualimanjaro. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wixie Electronic Digital Readout for planers. So what this device is, is it replaces the ruler that's on the side of your planer where you, if you want to see how thick the board is, you have to line up the little arrow to the ruler with a digital readout that tells you precisely the thickness of your board in decimals or in fractions. So it'll tell you that it's either a half inch or 0 0.5 inches. Uh, so this is very useful to get accurate cuts when you're trying to get down to a specific thickness. It also means that if you have two boards, one that you planed a couple days ago, one that you're trying to plane now, you can match them up very precisely um, and get a smoother surface between them if you're going to join them together or something like that. So the device is actually very easy to install. Um, I kind of fretted over that a bunch when I was buying it and it turns out that really all you do is you stick it onto the side of the planer. You can either use double-sided tape that it comes with or you can drill some holes into your planer and screw it on if you want a more permanent solution. And then you attach the indicator, the little truck here, to where the little arrow was on the scale to begin with. There's uh, provided kits for lots of different types of planers. On mine, you just have to unscrew the old arrow and screw this on, and that's it. Then all you have to do is take a board that you've just planed without moving the carriage on the planer, pull up on this part here, and put this right underneath here, and hit the calibrate button. From then on, this is linked to the uh, carriage on the planer, and as it goes up and down, it will precisely tell you the either the depth, uh, thickness of the board that's going to come out of the planer, or you can switch it to an incremental mode, and it'll tell you how much you're taking off on each board. So you can make sure you don't take off too much and you're going to jam your planer, or uh, how, if you only need to take a little bit off the board, you can set it up that way too. So I quite like this. Um, it seems fairly well built. It runs off two AAA batteries, and the battery life seems extremely good. I haven't ever had to change the batteries. I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, the display is nice and big and easy to read. If you have the planer mounted up fairly high like I do here, it's not at the best angle. I would like it to be tilted a little bit more forward. As you can see from the camera, you can't see what the device is uh, reading right now. But it does have a nice uh, big readout on it. The readout's not lit, so if you're kind of working in a, in a darker environment, it's going to be a little harder to see. But of course, that prolongs the battery life. The only thing I don't like about the, the readout is how far out it sticks. So this is a portable planer. I move it around from time to time. It's also pretty heavy, so it's not the easiest to maneuver through tight spaces. Uh, and this sticks out about an inch on each direction, and I've whacked it on things a couple times. One time I whacked it on something and it actually ripped it off. Now, I was glad that I had mounted it with the double-sized tape instead of uh, using screws to mount it because it just meant that the tape failed as opposed to uh, actually having the device get broken. But because of that, I wish it was a little bit more of a compact design. Now, they're a little limited because you want a big display and you want to use uh, bigger batteries so that the battery life is good. So it's a bit of a compromise there. Um, so I'm not really sure there's a better solution, but that is something to be aware. Once you put this on, you have to be a little more careful with your planer. Now, this device costs about $60, uh, and the question is always, is that worth it to you? In general, it's just cut more of a nice to have. Um, when you're planing wood down, you can either use you know, a cheap $20 pair of calipers that you probably already have, or you can just use the scale that's already on there. You probably uh, don't need to be super accurate when you're planing wood down. And also, most planers, this one at least, has a stop over here to the typical you know, three quarters of an inch, half inch, that sort of thing. So I quite like it. I like being able to see exactly how thick the boards are when they come out. Um, I like being able to tell how much I'm taking off on each cut. And I've also had it come in very handy where if I had uh, boards that were planed at different times, I could get them to be precisely the same thickness without mucking around with it. I would definitely classify this as a nice to have rather than essential, but at the end of the day, I really like it and enjoy having it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, Click on the link below to subscribe.